Welcome back to A Keeper of the Prophecies. We have just followed Lady Alicia out of the uh, cathedral, having been sent back in time to the very night when she collected our eye and was later murdered. So we need to make sure that she doesn't get murdered. We also need to do something about uh, Mr. Franticius so that he doesn't poison us in the future. So let's see what goes on. According to the Read Me, uh, the remainder of the missions here is basically one long mission over several maps. And, uh, so the rest of the story is kicking off now. Reversing the order. The Guardian sent you back to a time just before you were poisoned. How handy. Make sure Councillor Franticus never has another chance to poison you. The situation is plenty dicey enough with two Garricks in this world. Do not let Alicia see you. Alicia was doing you a big favour by meeting with the Hammerites on such a dark and lonesome night. She should not be knocked out or killed for her trouble. It's festival time. Let's not ruin the mood of the place. Do not kill any bystanders. Make sure Alicia finds her way back to your apartment house alive. There were rumors of a keeper safe house with useful items somewhere in the industrial part of town. Find it and raid the place. Now I wonder if this is also another time to mission with Alicia going through the town. What changes? Uh, let's see, on normal. Uh, well, obviously we can deal with bystanders as we wish. This one, don't, just by being here you're disrupting history, do not directly kill anyone. If you arrange for someone to die tonight, it should appear to be an unfortunate accident. And if Councillor Frantitius is moving by his own free will when his accidental death occurs, it will appear genuine. Do not gas or blackjack this guy. That's expert. I'm going to stick on hard as usual, not kill bystanders, but kill guards if they attack me. They, the history won't know it was not just another random thug. Alicia might, but nobody else will know. Reversing uh, the order. Alicia, what sent you into such a cruel and lonesome night? Let us just say, Councillor Frantitius, that I am aware of my father's plans. And as I was passing this way, I thought it worthy to discuss the matter with you before he grows any older and weaker. What is there to discuss? Your father has made his wishes plain as day. You are his rightful heir, and upon his death you will become the new master of the Enterprise. Dear Counselor Frantitius, you are a most gifted liar. But we both know about my father's plans. He merely speaks his intentions, but you are the one who must always make his dastardly arrangements. If you wish to be truly informative, then you can simply tell me when I am scheduled to die. You, you dare to accuse me of complicity in such sordid affairs? Of course I do. And as a matter of fact, I would not be surprised if my father's trusted High Counselor is planning to steal the Enterprise for himself. A snake such as you should never be allowed near that facility. Such a stream of accusations is not easily tolerated. I have a simple proposal, Counselor. You allow my father to appoint the successor of his choice, and I will see to it that you are spared the unnecessary embarrassment of losing your livelihood. Dear Lady Alicia, are you not the same woman of the street who sleeps with that vermin known as Garrett? Just how far do your plans extend? So, you know about Garrett. Then presumably you also know about my father's wishes regarding him. I know nothing about this. I am your father's obedient servant. I do only as I am told. Now go home and rest. This is a matter which can be discussed at a more convenient time. As you wish, Counselor.
But remember this. I have no personal desire to own the Enterprise for myself, and if my father wishes to convey it to Garrett, then you will act to keep my father's promise. Is that understood? I will do my duty as commanded. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, make a save. You men, follow me. I don't like the looks of this. Better keep close. Council Law, we are ready to capture the target. At the local pub each night, she is known to arrive just before the 10th hour for her nightly visit with the barkeep. I have instructed my men to chase her from that place towards the West Bridge. Men posted in the village beyond will intercept her before reaching Garrett's door, where we will quietly take the precursor eye from her. As promised, we will not harm the lady in any way and leave without further trouble. Should the dear lady escape this first attempt, I will have other men scattered along her only other way of escape, via the North Bridge, past the mortuary, and through the industrial section of town. Should she manage to find her way to safety, we will not assault the apartment itself, fearing a rain of broadheads from Garrett's window once he's alerted by the lady's return, or by some attack on the building before then. I will be conducting you with our results. P. Mr. Frantitious, I be carrying the scroll from the pitch and here's he talking with somebody so I don't want to be intruding. Sorry to be dripping on your nice floor to write in this here scroll, but I got me a good reason. Mr. Pinchenden still don't know how you promised gold to any of the men who killed Lady Alicia tonight by accident. If you knows what I mean. But I didn't get into this investigating business to go killing no ladies. So here be my part of the upfront money you now you gives us for her life. Go buy yourself a drink. Uh, right. So, head, uh, head towards West Bridge, and then escape by North Bridge, okay. Better keep close, where are they? Oh, I don't even know where I am. Where did they go? <coughs> Bollocks, have I lost them already? Which bridge is this? Must be North Bridge. So should I head towards West Bridge then? Council Franticus must Prentice must die tonight. Uh, I can't really do anything about any of this if I don't know where she is. Right. I was holding about the meeting here at the pub at ten, and this is the pub is just here. And it is almost ten. Maybe I should have looted the lawyer's place. But I can loot the doctor's place instead. Oh, lights off. Thanks. Receptionist says nothing again. Regarding the visit of Lady Alicia Celestis, rather than inquiring about her own health, the patient wishes to learn the properties of various potions for use in slowly disabling and sickening others. At first I had supposed this would be the basis of her own complaints, but after hearing no complaints I became convinced how the lady was only seeking counsel to injure others, at which point I made vague statements and sent her on her way. My diagnosis is troubling, though I feel accurate. From my observations of her and from reports I have seen, Lady Alicia is suffering from acute mania. And though she presents as irrational at times, the lady has been experiencing violent psychotic episodes, delusions of grandeur, disorganized thinking, and agitation. If there is further deterioration, I will prescribe a course of neuroleptics and have several armed guards administer these regularly if she is unwilling. Oh. Uh, no, off. 
Has he got any other surgical tools? He's got gas arrows for anaesthetic. How nice. Health and speed potions. I wonder what kind of uh, ailment... Uh, kind of ailment the doctor prescribes uh, speed potions for. Alright, what are we doing for time? 5 to 10, alright. If she's leaving the pub at 10, according to that note we found, cancelled due to the continuing rain, our harvest festival has been postponed. Festivities, including the much anticipated fireworks display, will take place on the first rain-free day of the coming week. The festival committee. Uh, find the feral children. Right, so... I guess I've got a few minutes then to loot Frantitious's place, I hope. According to that scroll, 10 o'clock is when... when uh, they were supposed to trail her from the pub. So I have hopefully until 10 to find her. Council of Frantitious, as you have requested, I am writing now to confirm how I will be meeting with Lady Alicia this very evening. I do not understand how this concerns your legal representations on our behalf, but I accept your assurances that this information is of great value to you. The builder's grace to thee, Brother Cavador. Cavadell, you. <coughs> yeah, okay, wait, does this not open anymore? Apparently, the switch is not there. Oh well. Can't just lockpick it, can I? <coughs> oh. Aha. <coughs> Carrot, stop dying. Stop, drink that. Get back outside and watch the pub. Pub is that building. There's no sign of movement yet. Let's make a hard save. And check up here. Okay, so there's anything up here this time. What do you know? whole bunch of equipment. Very nice. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, where's the scroll? Take another one of those, we've got ten. Wow. Also, we should be in darkness, so let's find some darkness. That's not darkness. It's kind of darkness. Scroll? Arrived just before the 10th hour for her nightly visit with the barkeep. Chase her from that place towards the West Bridge. Alright. Here's a... Let's, let's do that hard save again, because this is a better place for it. So the West Bridge is down there. We have 11 gas arrows, so we can gas a lot of soldiers if we need to. Time. Two minutes. We don't have the zombies down the alley at least anymore. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't just be wandering around randomly, I should be actually wandering with purpose. Uh, ah, here's a good vantage point. 
And we're out of the rain as well. Just as long as there aren't guys coming. Oh, there's outdoors. This window's good. Well, we can watch both clocks, in fact. I could go check the mortuary, but then I'm sure I miss. Uh, there's sometimes the life of a thief involves watching and waiting. Sometimes it's pretty boring. Let's write that hard save. Just sitting here watching the barber pole spin. Just look at it there, spinning away. Of all the amenities they have, they have electrified spinning barber poles. But still, oh, here we go. Still no weather control. So, hopefully... Hopefully we should see her arrive at the pub. I shouldn't be able to zoom, I don't have my mechanical eye yet, do I? Oh wait, I do, it's the other one of me that doesn't. Have some action, show, show me something happening. Why is nothing happening? Clock struck ten. There's nobody and nothing around. What, what is going on? Here's the pub. Is Lady Alicia here? <coughs> That's not Lady Alicia, is it? In the hat? Working out right, something's not happening here. Wait, is that Lady Alicia in the hat? And did she just see me? I'm running to the doctors. That must be her in the hat. She must have been blind drunk in the pub because she didn't see me. Or didn't appear to see me. All the scripting is kind of broken. Now 
for some loot there in the pub, but I don't see how I could get it. Well, that must be her, because they chased her towards the West Bridge and evaded her. There's supposed to be more men guarding the approach to the North Bridge, apparently. Ah, which is this one? Somewhere. Make sure I don't get spotted. slightly there but not enough to actually count as seeing me. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm getting stuck on that. She ran. Is that running away or is that scripted to run? Oh, she's walking again. Last our drunkard friend. He's been locked out of his house again. supposed to see me. I was trying to save you, but okay. Let's load the quick save. Oops. That's not going to work. Oh, she gets knocked out as well. Am I supposed to have gone ahead of her or something to get those people, or what? Quick save. And I heard more footsteps as well, I think there might be somebody else around. Hello, Garrett. No, don't see me. That's not me. Three of these, let's use one. Yep, oh, that's not good. Try that again. Let's try and hit him this time. She kill him. She's she's just scripted to kill him. I mean, if so, she's she's tougher than I thought. All right, let's 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 just watch then. Oh, 
Oh wow. She's uh, tougher than I thought. All right. Uh, you save. So it's just a, in search mode because it's where the AI works. See me, I was running ahead of you to try and deal with the baddies. following Lady Alicia, but I think I'm trying to deal with these reparates is better. Although presumably the path is randomized and there's lots of these bad guys, so I actually kinda need to I don't know, follow her closer. Escort missions, huh? Gotta love them. I'm probably going to run into her. Hello, mate. All right. Where is she? I have no the faintest idea. Steps. Yes, good. Alright. She's definitely somewhat safer now. Sure, I haven't got them all, but. Just many of them. Thanks for stabbing me. Hello, Garrett. Oh, no. you don't know I'm here. Look at him. <coughs> I wonder what all 
is uh, yeah. healing potions. All right. This is a terrible mission. I've got one gas arrow left. Kill him. You're on your own for this one. Good work. No, don't. Don't die. Yeah, stab him again. Make sure he's dead. Honestly, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to. How I'm intended to do this mission, but definitely my. Uh, Push of running around randomly and guessing the guys I found isn't going to be enough. Calm down, lady. What are you doing? Oh, don't come this way. Alright. Another hard save. I'm doing a bunch of them because I don't trust my quick saves to not be ending up in a broken state. guy that was down here already, right? Luckily for me, she doesn't she doesn't pay any attention when she finds unconscious bodies on the streets. No darkness in Sally either. Turn the corner. I thought I had a flash bomb. Yeah. Right, she's busy murdering guys over here, right? I don't even know why I'm supposed to keep her alive. She seems pretty capable of uh, looking after herself. I'm the one getting murdered here. One shell over her head, but it's uh, not enough. Gosh, how many ga how many goons does Pinchon have? Yeah, we no! Hello, Garrett. Oh, no, 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 no! You weren't supposed to see me there. It's a, bad, it's a bad way to go. Stop him. 
What are you? Stay right where you are! No, 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 no. You're not supposed to be fighting me. Got urgent business. Guess I left. I can't use that. Fire. Oh wait, I've got gas mines. Who goes there? Who made that noise? Boy, you soon enough. Me. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. Okay. So I actually do want to kill him. That's my mind. Let's me. My sword away, that's a bad idea. Bad idea. Sword. Die. No, please, no. Shit. Uh, well, Francis just died. Dead. He's dead. Don't come this way. Take your healing potion. Well, there's still more of them. Ah, what a terrible, 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 terrible mission. Escort mission where you have to not be seen by the person you're escorting. I mean, that's about as terrible as you can get in game design. Hello, no, you didn't see me there. Oh 
god, there's an archer. What am I supposed to do about that? going to help me get to those arches, right? Nope. Ah. Let's try again. Anyway, I can get past. Garrett! <laughs> Garrett, you just vanished in front of me! Hello, Garrett. I'm invisible! God damn this mission! Oh, I'm gonna climb up that ladder again and go the other way, but it's not gonna help me, I don't think. Yeah. You'll be dead soon enough. Yep. You're not the one I'm trying to deal with. deal with some other guys who I don't seem to have any way of reaching from these ledges. Unfortunately. So this is an entire waste of time. And Lady Alicia is probably dying as we speak. Just fine. I mean I didn't get that she's dead notice, so maybe she's actually survived. See me. So she's down underneath them, so she's safe from the archers. All right, fine. What didn't work. Let's keep their attention on me, shall we? Alright. Archers are dead. How do we get in the shadows? What little shadows there are. Lady Alicia's still alive. She's still hunting there. So don't come out and see me. Alright, she's going out the door. Right, another hard save because uh, things are happening and. Same order for. Wait. Uh, Kevil's house. I don't suppose the missus will mind if I take another shortcut through her living room. <laughs> I'm sure she will. I yeah, remember her tirade last time. Kevil, is that you? I 
Okay, careful, well, you can get back in now. Where's Lady Alicia, though? This is where Frantitius killed her the last time. Oh. But not this time. Well, indeed, because Frantitius is dead. Surviving then, Lady Alicia. I can actually shoot now. Look behind you. Oh, you saw me. Ow! So she still didn't see me. Somehow. So we've got a guardian angel there, uh... Alicia, get to my house. Can I can see Garrett looking out the window. That would be funny. Oh, is that it? <gasps> Garrett. No. Damn it! Just because you're near me doesn't seem uh, wrong one. I mean, you saw me. All right, we're gonna go back through here again. Ah, Kevil's house. I don't suppose the missus will mind if I take a shortcut through her living room. Shut you, Kevil. I got a measure. All right, there she goes. This is where Frantitius killed her the last time. But not this time. No! You didn't see me. see me. There she is still. I can get out without her seeing me though. Better hope she wins the fight. Nope. Alright, reload.
way. Don't come this way. Don't come this way. Good teamwork, future carrot. Phew. So, uh, right. She made her way home alive, and she didn't see me. What the hell? Who's taking those shots? Ah, uh, yes. A little help from my previous existence. How? I just hope my alter ego wasn't so drunk that I get hit with one of those arrows. I just did. That's right, I did break the window and shoot arrows. Well, I didn't shoot arrows out, I just looked out. Oh, hello. Right, I need to find this keeper's place. You can sleep. Uh, you're not a keeper, are you? Better not be. You look like a thief. Alright. Another hard save. We finally escorted her home mostly safely. Oh, there's the perished mother and children again. Yeah. We couldn't help. We couldn't save them. Alright, so now the only objective left, find the keeper's safe house and learn what you can. <laughs> Which could be anywhere at all. We have no idea where it could be. Great. Kevil, you can go inside now. Oh. Don't have any valuables, do you? Not less time. You had an Ebra, we spent them all on booze. Keep a safe house somewhere in this map. Let's see if we can get up on that ledge. Oh, I see, there is an upper area to shadow people from, I suppose. Which is actually quiet, or mostly, well, somewhat quiet some of the time. No, it's not quiet at all. Uh, we could get back down to the river and swim in the river, but, uh... Yeah, I think not. If I were a keeper, where would I hide my safe house? And how would I signpost it so Garrett could find it? Even if we didn't want him to. Wait, what? Are we... Just back here again? So all that running around in alleyways was just... Not really getting us very far, okay. Well, I can't get into Pinchinton's office. Through either door. Here's a big warehouse again. I wonder if there's any loot in it this time. If I steal anything now, I won't steal it later, right? That's gonna be a weird paradox. Oops. Crate stacked up to the roof there. Oops, careful now. Oh, 
Oh, there's a way across there. Neat. Oh, that doesn't open. It does take me to the other side of the dam, so, uh, works for me. Go for a swim. Wonder if there's anywhere I can actually get out. Keep a safe house. I'm kind of keeping an eye out for well, keep her there's a ladder. Keep her uh, statues. So they sort of mark mark this stuff with them. Be. Here we are at the uh, mortuary again. Oh, what's. Oh, is this. Oh, is this the way we followed her? Okay. This is the way she came from the pub. Oh, is this lane where you go? Oh, this is back to Northbridge. <laughs> what? Careful. Oh, I can't get up on that. Perhaps I can make that jump. Oh, there's a breakable roof. Top window. Or oh, possibly breakable. Is there an easy way down from this ledge though without hurting myself? Well, that doesn't look that high. Where's the doors? They're on the other side, aren't they? We have a statue. Not a keeper statue. There's not going to be anyone in here, right? Oh yeah, those windows would have been... Lots of point breaking those. Oh right, this is the same night, isn't it? Celestis was already dead. I think. Oh god, I'm so confused about the timeline. Well, he hasn't been put in there yet. Oh no, he died sometime later, right? I can't remember. I think the last time we were running around town was quite a long while later. Hmm. Definitely not being quiet here. But I guess I probably don't need to. Supposed to bring uh, Judy back. That's right. This is the room Judy was from. Wait, maybe she needs to be on more of an adventure. I can't drop her. Can't use her. Okay. I mean, the guy's daughter wasn't dead yet. Well, hey, Judy, you know, had a flying visit back to your old home. You'll have to come back another time. Alrighty. Nothing in the mortuary for me. I guess when the time is right to bring Judy back, I'll have uh, an objective to do so. So. But with Frantitius dead, he's not going to be poisoning the townsfolk either, so... Oh, come on. Oh, long way around. Um, which means... 
If it was... Planetitius is poison that was responsible for the uh, mortician's daughter's death. Then we've also stopped that. Well, that's good, I guess. Right, let's take us back up to the bridge, which is probably where I need to go. All right. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the episode here, I'm going to get myself another cup of tea, and then we will resume our search for the Keeper's Place in the next episode. So I'll see you shortly.